Vadim Pavlovic, please tell me what kind of testing equipment is this? What function does it perform? Well, this is special test equipment for a place for the lead engineer on board operator who is here first. It has a special console for fault input and we talked about it for special fault input modes, engine control systems, etc. Plus he has a device with B and here the remote control from B and to turn on something like this from B and constantly works, but sometimes it is required in certain modes. Increased registration frequency. And then in this situation, he uses this remote control. Well, that's a plus. Now here in this situation, as they say, the cameras are shown, which take the consoles and dashboard into the cockpit but also special flight parameters can be displayed here. Which pilots don't have test pilots or they duplicate, that is, in order to conduct additional control and assist the crew if necessary. So the role of the lead test engineer is why he is called the lead. He must conduct an experiment. He directs the experiment and gives recommendations to the crew how to do everything correctly. And then assesses how much this or that stage of flight or the experimental stage or the whole experiment has been completed. How high quality, how much to repeat or not to repeat. How many normal people are on board during a test flight? A minimum of two crew members means the commander and the test pilot. And the maximum for this aircraft is four people plus two more leading onboard operators. That is, here are two seats and no more can be planted because all crew members must have their own seat, their tethering system, and most importantly, do not forget about special rescue equipment. These are the fire extinguishers. And there on the other side, there is an oxygen system. Everything needs to be provided and prepared. And each crew member must have their own rescue equipment. A frequent question that journalists ask us, why can't you take us on a flight testing so that we can shoot beautifully? This is so great. No, well, that's certainly great. Yes, I agree. And to be perfectly honest, I really want to take you here. But uh, the situation is such that to conduct test flights, all onboard personnel must undergo special training. For this purpose, they specially graduate from the school of pilots. It doesn't matter who is a pilot, engineer or navigator. In general, they must undergo special training in the process of which, in addition to very serious engineering training, but also training for some special cases. Well, including for emergency rescue cases, regardless of whether you sit in the cabin. In the cockpit? Pilot, you still have to know how to act, and for this you undergo special training and accordingly receive special certificates well, the pilot's certificates became the test flight engineer's certificate. Well, and so on. That is why I'm sorry. Tell me. Please, it's surprising that this plane with the cabin is already... Yes, this is three experimental aircraft. Yes, it is already immediately mounted. Luggage racks, yes. The lining is used for what? And is the interior tested during? You must experience it, yes. This is just with Didlon so that it is not for beauty, although it is also pleasant and beautiful. By the way, I want to note that these luggage racks and the skin in general are much more pleasant to the touch than those aircraft that were basic, which were imported, interior skin and so on. Let's look at the chair. We haven't been given it yet, but I hope they will also not be worse, but better. So, uh, why did they put it on this plane? Because it is planned to test the cabin, including the first flight tests. In order to evaluate the temperature regimes, you definitely need the skin and the interior. Secondly, to evaluate the system, well, to C to B, that is inflating as it goes. How does all the salon equipment react to this? Well, thirdly, ultimately, software tests are also carried out on Earth. 
including emergency, passenger abandonment. The plates and weights are missing. They do not involve technology or features indeed. They replicate the mass equivalent to a passenger seat, if I understand correctly. We have passengers who can be placed in the cabin in different order, that is in the front, in the rear and in the east. Moreover, the aircraft must undergo testing at all allowed alignments. We must create the required alignment accurately at specified spots. Secure the loads using these devices and if necessary, we put it forward. Loads and then we get front centering. If rear centering is needed, then, then the loads are shifted to the back of the cabin. There are specifically centric graphs. Well, now this is all done automatically and it is determined there. Well, the average passenger weight is 80 kilo or so. And in each chair that is by chair, it will be clear how many people we will say this. In certain places and alignment is calculated if it turns out that there are not many passengers. Then accordingly, Cabin crew. Well, the stewards are flight attendants, which means they distribute passengers. Since it is necessary for the centers, they ask to change seats if necessary and so on. This happens, but very rarely. This is why flight attendants consistently request borrowing only. Your seats are exactly when you have the ticket, yes. Including for this, yes. To provide the very center, yes, that you are talking about. Speak absolutely right there. The safety of your own flight, yes, because passengers often do not understand it. Yes, for some reason there seem to be free places there and somehow they don't let them there. Well, yes, that's one of the reasons why it's so simple. But as I understand it, these are rather very rare cases. Well, yes, in general, the plane has a fairly wide range of centering points and therefore, in principle, if the passengers fill the cabin fairly evenly, then this is no longer fundamental.